am in Borneo and my scooter just broke down. Yay! So I've got about an hour until the rescue people come. So I thought I'd do a little review on the blade that I just bought. And here it is. The Ibn Tribe head hunting blade. This one's the first one I kind of went like wow at. And after looking at all of them, I went back to this one, which is usually how it works. The reason I like this is just, it feels really good. Everything's hardwood, the handle, the sheath. You can see how nice it looks. The different coloration in the wood. It's just made really well. Closer look at the handle here. You know, it's nothing too fancy, but it's got style, which is what I like, and it feels really good. I mean, this thing with the sheath is probably about two kilos. Uh, this this string's probably nothing to write home about, but um, you know, these guys work with what they've got, like wood from the forest and this sort of string and spring steel. Let's have a look at the blade. And here it is. The reason I really liked it was A, the shape. It's kind of unusual. It's like, uh, it's not like the traditional head hunting shape of blades, but uh, got something um, quite menacing about it so I like that and it's not like a parang either because I there's too many parangs around here and if I want one I think I'm gonna get the one from uh, Condor that looks amazing but this one is just as thick over here the second thing that I really liked see the back of the blade how, how it's just solid as it's just as solid as my uh, Condor machete, Gallic machete that I've got. And it goes all the way up until where the blade curves a little. What's interesting about this is this part here has no sharp blade on it. So, I mean, you could use that for whatever blocking or intercepting whatever in uh, martial arts but I wonder if they had some sort of other functionality with that one maybe when they're cutting something just moving stuff aside or something I, I'm not sure but yeah that's the one I went for no it feels good I mean some of the blades that I that I picked up there you could really feel how the tang didn't go all the way but this one feels like it goes quite far down and the balance is, is quite good so I paid 330 ringgit for this one the original price was 480 so or 450 it might have been so yeah I'm happy with that another one to the collection was it worth the road trip? Well, let's see how I feel tomorrow, how my body feels tomorrow and uh, how long it's going to take for these rescue people to come, but I'm definitely pleased with this one. Thanks, Ivan Tribe. Ten minutes later, I'm a little bored now. So let's see how sharp this thing is. Oh yeah, that was almost just a normal drop down pretty good. Let's give it a bit of a bigger whack. Not much different. So I figured that this, this part here is to hold it up high so maybe you can maneuver the blade a little differently. You know, use this to chop someone's head off and then this one and I'll cut off the spinal ligaments or something. Pull out the eyes. 
If you were wondering what that all that bird singing is, it's it's that uh, bird's nest factory or farm over there. What it is, they're uh, blaring out the bird sounds from speakers and attracting the birds to come come in and make nests and then they gather the spittle and make soup, whatever else. Also, you should always have a small knife with you at all times so you can cut up papaya while you're waiting. Hey, if you want to see photos of this road trip, you can check me out, Tai Chi Forest, on Instagram.